Welcome to a tutorial video on basic bandaging. First off, we'll be starting with cravats. There are three different cravats for different kinds of applications. This is an open face bandage. To create a broad cravat, simply align the apex to the base of the bandage. Next up will be a seminary of cravat. Just follow the pre-made broad cravat into half, aligning the individual parts onto each other. Lastly, the narrow cravat which also follows the same process previously. Keep folding the halves of your bandage to create the set cravat. Use an open face bandage for the head or the scalp. This will be used for injuries on the top of the head. The base of the bandage must be aligned on the patient's forehead and make sure the entire body of the bandage lies flat on the scalp. Then take the legs of the bandage and loop them from behind the head. The legs must be tied in front of the forehead area and proceed to create a square knot once you're finished. Next up is the forehead bandaging. Create a narrow cravat and begin by placing the bandage on the forehead. Take both legs of the bandage and tie it around the patient's head. Create a square knot on the forehead area to wrap things up. A narrow cravat will still be used for the cheek or ear bandaging. Place the bandage on the wounded side of the patient, then wrap it around the opposite side. Cross the legs of the bandage in order to finish things up. Then of course, end it with a square knot. The shoulder bandage will also make use of a narrow cravat. Place the bandage on the wounded area and cross the first leg underneath the patient's armpit. You should have both legs on each side of the patient's body. Tie both legs together from the back and the front and end it with a square knot. For chest bandaging, make use of an open face bandage. Lie the entire bandage on the patient's chest with the apex on the shoulder. Take both legs and wrap them on the patient's back. Tying them onto each other, then tie the other leg on the apex and finish it with a square knot.
The wrist bandaging will make use of a narrow cravat. Create a loop-like hole by folding both sides of the bandage onto each other to create a sling. Take your legs and tie them together on the patient's neck to create a proper sling. Then of course, end it with a square knot. An open face bandage will be used to create the arm sling. Take the patient's injured arm and wrap the face of the bandage on said arm. Make sure the apex is at the end of the elbow. Take both legs and tie them onto each other on the neck of the patient and create a knot using the apex to support the sling. Use a narrow cravat for the open palm bandaging. Simply wrap the patient's hand with an X-like pattern starting on the surface of the palm, crossing each leg on top of each other and end it with a square knot. Still using the narrow cravat, lie the bandage on the back end of the patient for a closed fist bandaging. Cross it over the hand until it is wrapped well enough. For the ankle bandaging, make use of a narrow cravat. Begin by placing the center of the bandage on the center of the foot. Take the legs of your bandage and cross them on each other on the top of the surface of the foot and loop them from behind the ankle. Bring the legs back underneath the foot and finish it by tying a square knot on the top of the foot. 